This is the new BMW 7 Series, which is the flagship and the pinnacle of the BMW luxury sedan range. But, whereas past 7 Series models used to have a starting price of around 7 million pesos, maniniwala ba kayo that the new 7 Series now starts at less than 6 million pesos? Yup, tama ang narinig nyo. For the price of a BMW X5 or even a high-spec 5 Series, you can now afford the pinnacle, the flagship, yung pinaka-luxurious ng BMW luxury sedan range. Pero ang tanong ngayon, do you get shortchanged in features? Or are you still getting the BMW 7 Series experience? Pero bago natin simulan ng review na ito, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi kayong notified whenever we review flagship luxury sedans. The BMW 7 Series received an update for the 2021 model year. And this gets you an enlarged grille, which is 40% bigger to be precise according to BMW, along with other new design details like a new front bumper, a redesigned side air intake, new alloy wheels, and a revised rear fascia with a new set of LED taillights. The LED bar you see here is a first for a BMW, and out in the open road, Sobrang distinctive na tingnan, lalo na yung kanyang front end, which definitely has a lot of road presence. Ngayon naman, dumako tayo sa loob ng bagong BMW 7 Series. So as for the interior of the BMW 7 Series and wow, ang sobrang premium and luxurious na. This is the true premium talaga. This is talagang luxurious. This is really an exquisitely crafted interior. Everything you see, if you think it's leather, it's leather. If you think it's aluminum, it's aluminum. If you think it's wood, it's really wood. There's a sense of craftsmanship and genuine genuinity, I guess, if there's such a word, in this interior. Talagang, it's straightforward. What you see is what you get. There's no fakery here. Even the top of the dashboard is in Sensa Tech leather, which is grabe, wow. Um, there's really not an acre of cheap plastic in this interior. Kahit sa lower panel ng center console, it's even in soft touch plastic. There's not an ounce of hard plastic in this interior. Hmm, grabe, ang ganda. Um, siguro in terms of design, it's not as special as let's say, uh, Mercedes-Benz S-Class or the Lexus LS, pero quality-wise, it's really top-notch. And that's basically BMW's philosophy when it comes to their interiors. Now They want familiarity, they want the sense that if you're coming from a 3 series, a 5 series, it feels logically laid out, it feels the same. So, there's nothing that's gonna scare you pag nakita mo yung interior na 7 series. You know how everything operates. The buttons, the switches are all well laid out. And thankfully, unlike sa Audi where they've switched to a dual screen setup na meron ka no infotainment and touch screen for the climate control, which I really am not a fan of. May hard buttons pa rin ng BMW, which is a good thing. And then that brings me to the car's tech features, the iDrive 7 infotainment system and the live cockpit professional digital gauge cluster. If you've watched my past BMW or even Mazda reviews, alam nyong how much I love infotainment systems with rotary controls. And this new iDrive 7 infotainment system in this BMW 7 series takes it a step further. The interface is beautiful, responsive, and well laid out. And it's clearly my favorite infotainment system in the entire automotive industry. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come as standard, along with the good but not outstanding Harman Kardon sound system. And then there's also a wide range of ambient light themes, which you can control in the iDrive infotainment system. And then lastly, iDrive 7 also debuts the BMW Intelligent Personal Assistant, which is basically like Apple's Siri or the Google Assistant. And it works mostly well if you're controlling the vehicle functions via your voice. Hey BMW, tell me a joke. I can't imagine that you're bored. Maybe you haven't yet had the chance to try sport mode. 
Hey BMW. I'm cold. Okay, it will be warmer shortly. Hey BMW. Change the ambient lights to blue. Very good. I selected the light color blue with contouring in blue. Though kung ayon niyo naman yung rotary knob controller, you can still control iDrive to the touchscreen. Anyhow, moving on to the live cockpit professional digital gauges. Sa opinion ko, mas gusto ko tong digital gauges na ito compared sa gawa ng Mercedes-Benz, mainly due to the muted colors. It isn't as versatile as what you would find in Audi's virtual cockpit or the digital gauges in Jaguar Land Rover vehicles, wherein you can make your entire screen the navigation system. Still, at least it's easy to use and friendlier to the eyes kabag sa nighttime driving. Now, lumipat naman tayo sa rear seat sa BMW 730i na ito. And kung mapapansin nyo sa kanyang pangalan, wala yung letter L sa kanyang badge. And that's because, unlike past BMW 7 series models offered in the Philippines, this 7 series is the standard wheelbase, and not the long wheelbase models that were previously offered. And it's one of the major contributing factors to its competitive price tag. Despite that, the 730i is still a long car, and you have so much space and luxury at the rear seats, especially given its sub 6 million peso price. As standard, you get these electronically adjustable executive rear seats, which provide so much electronic adjustment and even a rear headrest pillow. The rear passengers also get their own two-zone climate control, electronic side and rear sun blinds, just to name a few. This is certainly a good way to spend your 5.9 million pesos. It also must be mentioned that the BMW 730i comes as standard with an air suspension. Not only does it give you excellent ride comfort, but its ride height is also adjustable, which can be useful in certain driving situations, such as a steep parking garage, or probably a high speed bump, or simply for easier entry and exit of the vehicle. And then as you drive faster, the air suspension will lower itself for better handling and aerodynamics. And then as for trunk space, the BMW 7 series offers 500 liters of space, which weirdly enough, is a bit smaller than what a compact Honda Civic offers. Though for the class, yung kanyang trunk space is competitive. This is because of the fact that the BMW 7 series is rear-wheel drive, and that eats into trunk space. In addition, yung kanyang electronically adjustable executive rear seats can be manually folded down for obvious reasons. And this is basically the same scenario for the Audi A8, Mercedes-Benz S-Class, and the Lexus LS. For now, only one variant of the BMW 7 series is being offered, and that's this 730i which is powered by a 2-liter inline for turbocharged gasoline engine, and it's also a major contributing factor to its competitive price tag. Don't let its small displacement fool you though, because this engine packs a lot of power and acceleration, and as a matter of fact, 0 to 100 kph happens in just the mid-6 second range. BMW also used to offer a 745LE plug-in hybrid, and this gets a 3-liter turbo inline 6 that's mated to an electric motor. Though this and other 7 series variants are now for indent order. So as for the driving experience of the BMW 7 series, it's, well, it's BMW's flagship and you expect flagship things, right? You expect the ultimate in luxury, you expect the ultimate in refinement. And that's what you get with the BMW 7 series, with the 730i even. Uh, it's supremely quiet in here, even past triple digit speeds. If Remember what I said sa BMW 3 Series when I said that that car was disconcertingly quiet coming from basically non-premium cars? That applies even more in the 7 Series. This is even more disconcertingly quiet. Ito yung mga one of those cars na i-drive mo at 100 kph. Feeling mo kapos eh, feeling mo bitin. Ganun katahimik eh. Ganun siya ka-quiet. This is one of those cars na talagang at 100 kph, para feeling mo gusto mo pang ibirit ng 150 or mag-cruise at 180, ganyan. Kasi ang sobrang tahimik niya talaga eh. Talagang hindi mo ramdam na yung 
mga exterior ele- yung mga elements surrounding yung wind noise and road noise it's supremely quiet only thing quieter than the 7 series or an S class itong segment na to would be a Rolls Royce a Rolls Royce Ghost or a Rolls Royce Phantom but that's basically on another level even in terms of refinement and then apart from the excellent noise suppression the isolation from the outside world this 7 series also has air suspension as standard even the 730i gets air suspension and wow the ride is it's not as good as a baka isipin nyo lahat ng lubak na iron out, na iron out yan talagang kahit yung mga let's say pothole talagang light dumaan ka dun hindi mo makaramdaman natamdam mo pa rin yun, of course may limitation pa rin ng air suspension but this car just wafts along sa mga imperfections no? hindi mo hindi siya yung parang nakakajiggle nung katawa mo it's really a smooth ride it's the smoothest riding car basically that I've ever driven or one of the smoothest at least when you compare it din sa S-Class maybe the S-Class is a bit more smoother pero totoo lang I'm splitting here sa sobrang minute ng differences ng dalawa ng tatlong mga flagship sa dance na yun this is basically one of those cars na you just wanna cruise along tas makaka-relax ka it's really a relaxing car to drive and then at the same time itong 7 series na to yes it's a BMW so you expect some sporty things about it and yes ito we're gonna go through some corners it is a bit sporty pero you know at 1.8 tons for the 730i there's only so much you could do with the things of laws of physics no? so steering being a 7 series of course it's more on the stable side of things you know? so hindi siya kasing quick ng let's say a 3 series but for what it's worth for its size okay yung kanyang responsiveness ng steering niya the steering response is good but yun nga if you really want a sporty BMW get a 3 or a 5 series or of course an M car the, yung mga M cars ng BMW yung mga M3, M4, M5 and that's really what you're after so the suspension yung kanyang air suspension is syempre tuned for comfort you can put it in sport mode and it adjusts accordingly magiging firm yung ano niya yung ride niya and it will have better better body control but yun nga it's really meant for pure luxury and isolation talaga if you really want a sporty BMW it's really best to get the 3 series or the 5 series at least no and then another good thing about the 7 series is itong engine niya itong kanyang 2 liter twin power turbo gasoline engine yes it's a 2 liter no and it's a big car this is a car that's 5 meters long and sa totoo lang I really have no issues with this engine the engine pulls really hard and smoothly sa totoo lang I don't dislike a BMW engine lang kung engine sa BMW range ngayon na hindi dislike I actually like every single engine from the BMW range and the 730i's 2 liter engine is no exception it's basically the same engine you would find in a 330i or a 530i basta yung may 30i na moniker sa BMW range and like every BMW turbocharged engine the engine pulls in a linear fashion nga this is one of those turbo engines na hindi yung nasa lower RPM range lang yung torque nya kundi nasa higher to mid to higher RPM ranges din siya. so it's one of those engines na if you drive it if you rev it harder you actually get rewarded with plenty with good amounts of torque and 0 to 100 kph in 6.5 or 6.3 seconds is basically no figure to slouch at this is basically faster than a Toyota 86 Mazda MX-5 and as, about as fast vo- as a Volkswagen Golf GTI those are figures that basically you wouldn't want to mess with the big question ngayon is how does it fare compared to the Lexus LS with the twin turbo V6 engine kasi this entry level 730i costs about as much as the entry level LS500 their new base model ng LS500 Honestly, I haven't driven the LS pa. I'm actually curious to try the LS because of this. But so far, with this 730i with its 2-liter gasoline engine, I have no complaints at all. I love the power delivery. Wait lang. <laughs> it pulls hard. The engine pulls really hard. This engine delivers a lot of mid to higher RPM torque. It's one of those turbo engines that rewards you kahit nasa mid to high RPMs ka. It feels like a naturally aspirated engine nga eh na nagkataon lang ita sa lot of mid-range torque. It's a really good turbo engine. And again, because 
this car is so isolated, this car is so quiet. Di mo mo sa dorin ng engine noise eh. Di mo mo sa dorin ng na four cylinder to. Okay, so there are instances na kapag hinar- hinarurot mo, you would you can tell it, that it's a four cylinder. Pero apart from that, the engine doesn't act like a four cylinder engine at all. It pulls hard. There's a lot of power. And the eight speed automatic basically is one of the best transmissions out there. Remember, lagi kong sasabi sa mga BMW reviews ko, itong ZF 8-speed automatic is one of the best transmissions out there. If you don't think that this is the best, you haven't driven a BMW. As with dual clutches, they, get, they tend to be jerky sa low speeds, but with the, with the ZF 8-speed, it gets the best of both worlds. The shifts are smooth, even if it's in low speeds, the shifts are imperceptible, and the shifts are also quick pa rin. Almost dual, dual clutch like basically. But without the jerkiness. And then now we're gonna enter a highway. We're gonna enter Slex. Effortless power. I'm already at 100. Yun na lang padalik. Then that, now that we're here in Slex, the refinement's really good. Really a relaxing car to drive. Bitin it drive at 100 kp to be honest. Kasi yun nga sa bantahimik niya. If you live in Germany and you regularly cruise the Autobahn, well, thank goodness for you, you actually get to experience the true pa- ano, the true capability of the 7 series. Kasi at 100 kp sobrang sisiw lang sa coaching ito eh. And then lastly, the brakes. The brakes are really good, the brakes are really sharp, and the brake pedal feel is really good. Normally, people don't talk about brakes that much when sa mga itong mga reviews ato. But here in GoFlatout page, we talk about the brakes. It's really easy to modulate the brakes even at low speeds, and the brake feels reassuringly firm. So even if you're mashing this sa uh, back roads, so you're trying to treat this as a sport sedan, maganda pa rin yung brake feel niya. You get good amounts of stopping power and all that. It's a reassuringly powerful brake system. And then lastly, fuel economy. This is a big sedan. There's no doubt about that. This is a large sedan. And my fuel economy figure, as with every BMW sa tolang, has been really good. I've been averaging at around 8.8 liters per 100 kilometers, which roughly translates to 12 kilometers per liter mga ganon, which is really good for a large sedan. A sedan as big as this. And with this much power, of course. It's basically, sa tolang, yung mga engines ng BMW are both powerful and really fuel efficient. And the 730i is no exception. For now, only one variant of the BMW 7 Series is available, and that's this 730i Pure Excellence. Apart from the features we've already mentioned a while ago, the 730i Pure Excellence also comes with adaptive matrix LED headlights, along with a few advanced driver assist features, such as this parking assistant self-parking feature, rear automatic emergency braking, and a useful reversing assistant which remembers the last 50 meters you drove, and then the system replays your steering inputs as reverse out of a sticky situation. So basically, useful to sa mga tipong dead end, or kapag yung meron kang nakasalubong na kotse sa mga kipot na kalsada. Because of this 730i, this also makes the BMW 7 Series one of the most affordable full-size flagship luxury sedans. And it makes it a lot more affordable than an Audi A8 and Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Meron nga lang siyang kalaban sa Lexus, and it's called the Lexus LS500, in which thanks to the Japan-Philippine Economic Partnership Agreement, or JPEPA, is priced similarly to this BMW 730i despite having a twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 engine. Though in terms of features, hindi sila nagkakalayo. Still, the BMW 730i offers a lot of luxury for your money. And this car is certainly a good way for you to spend your 6 million pesos.